We developed a school model uh, that not only looks at school proper, but everything around it, the amenities, the infrastructure. I'm Derwin Sisnet. I am the founder of Maslow Development Inc and uh, the co-founder and former CEO of Gestalt Community Schools. Uh, typically these days we talk about wraparound services. Uh, while we're concerned with that, we also are concerned with wraparound infrastructure, which is why Gestalt is an important model for this work. I was born and raised in Far Rockaway, a neighborhood in Queens, New York. Uh, at an early age, I was spelling my name and spelling other things, and uh, my mom said, okay, we got to get you into school. They put me in. At the time, it was called the Aster Program, a gifted program. I was on this track, this gifted track, but I was also in a school that otherwise, quite frankly, sucked. Uh, and uh, I experienced that in elementary school and in middle school. So in middle school, uh, the, the school I attended was actually, uh, if you look at it, it's a former juvenile detention center. It actually sits next to a police precinct. You know, the inside, the building was shaped uh, like a square. So inside, you look through the plexiglass windows because, of course, they couldn't trust us with real windows. When you look through the plexiglass windows, you literally see this concrete garden that we didn't even have access to. So we could only see this concrete garden, but we couldn't even walk on it. That changed my psyche, quite frankly. And even though I was still in this gifted track, uh, I wanted to uh, basically live like I was in the jungle because it felt like the jungle. And I'll never forget, uh, I got into so much trouble that my dad came to school and my dad doesn't cry, uh, but I remember uh, my dad being disappointed in the decisions that I was making and I remember seeing tears coming down his eyes and it was, that was one of the moments that sparked uh, just me being more interested in my own uh, success. And, and so I changed and so by high school I went to one of the highest performing public schools in New York City, Townsend Harris High School. And so fast forward, uh, I moved to Memphis in 2005. A community development corporation reached out to me and asked if I'd help them start a school. I took what would have been my PhD then and turned it into a charter application for what we now call Power Center Academy. Uh, and it wasn't just a school uh, as we think of school, but it was a school based on business and entrepreneurship and financial literacy because that's what that particular community needed in, in Memphis in the neighborhood called Hickory Hill. Uh, I remember like it was yesterday, we came across this old abandoned apartment complex uh, called the Marina Cove. It was 394 units of blighted property set over 24 acres of land. It was so blighted that all 394 94 units were collectively appraised at $100, uh, but the land was worth $1.6 million. And so fast forward, we end up buying the land. Uh, we pretty much got it for a song because no one wanted it. We went to HUD. HUD gave us the dollars to demolish the property. Today, we now have our first phase of affordable housing that's up. Uh, families are living there, sending their kids to our schools. Uh, we have the Performing Arts Center that's up. Uh, so when I think about that work and I think about you know what the future is, uh, it's why Maslow exists now, my, my new company, uh, because there's an opportunity not to scale Gestalt and have Gestalts all over the country, but to scale the essence of Gestalt, which is working with the community, um, you know, working together collaboratively. And I don't mean coming up with an idea and then pitching it to the community, but actively seeking the community's input on what they want and then actually doing it. Uh, the new work that I do now with Maslow is really an extension of Gestalt. We are advising groups across the country and we have a full-fledged real estate development firm that builds out uh, the real estate around high-quality schools uh, in the Midwest, Southeast, and going north, uh, maybe west one day.